Welcome to the presentation and demo for IBM InfoSphere Test Data Management with Data Masking Solution for PeopleSoft. Data privacy protection continues to be a tremendous focus for the IT community today. Organizations are making great strides to protect sensitive data in live application environments. Organizations must begin to address the most vulnerable areas of IT infrastructure, that is, non-production environments. The answer lies in the methods used to create non-production databases. Commonly, live production systems are cloned to a test environment which holds confidential data. As a matter of fact, non-production data does not require live environment. Using realistic data is essential for testing. Data masking is the process of systematically transforming confidential data elements such as trade secrets and personally identifying information into realistic but fictionalized values. Masking enables developers and QA testers to use production-like data and produce valid test results while still complying with the privacy protection rules. Data masking represents a simple concept, but it is technically challenging to execute. Most organizations operate within complex heterogeneous IT environments consisting of multiple interrelated applications, databases, and platforms. IT managers do not always know where confidential data is stored or how it is related across die separate systems. The ideal solution must both discover sensitive data across related data stores and mask it effectively. The IBM Optum data privacy solution provides comprehensive capabilities for masking sensitive data effectively across non-production environments. You can take the necessary steps to protect privacy while still providing realistic data for use in development, testing or training. When you use Optum to mask confidential data, you protect privacy and safeguard shareholder value. The key benefits of data masking includes mass confidential data on demand in applications, databases and reports based on business policies to protect data privacy, support compliance initiatives throughout the enterprise by capturing data privacy policies and rules in one centralized repository, enforce policies and rules through measurement of usage, use a single scalable enterprise data masking solution to mask data everywhere across applications, databases and operating systems. The figure represents an ideal data masking process. To the left is the production database from which Optim extracts the test data. The extracted data is stored in the form of extract files and these extract files are inserted into the target database which are masked during insertion. Now let us proceed to the product presentation. This is the PIA login page for PeopleSoft. We are logging in with the user ID and password as PSPS. This leads us to the PeopleSoft PIA page. Optum PE Data Privacy is the link for executing test data management with data masking solution. Navigate to Optum PE Data Privacy, extract request. Go to add a new value tab and enter the request ID as DM1. Now the extract criteria page is displayed. Give description as TDM DM demo. There are three options provided to extract the data. Employee ID range, where we can give the range of employee IDs as a criteria for extraction. Original hire date range, where we can give the hire date range of employees as a criteria for extraction. Both options, where we can give both employee ID and original hire date range as the criteria for extraction. For demo, we will select employee ID range. Enter the employee ID from KG0001 to KG0005. Click on selected employees to check the number of employees selected for extraction. Last address country is percentage, which means all the countries are considered in the criteria. If we want a specific country for extraction, click on the lookup button and select the country. For demo, we will consider all the countries, that is, the percentage symbol. Now save the request and click on Run Extract button to execute the extract request. The status changes to Extract Requested. Once the extract is completed, the status changes to Extract Completed. The extract process extracts the data from the production and stores it in the form of extract file. Now click on the Process Monitor. It shows the current status of the request. Click on details to check the process details. 
In the extract criteria page, click on refresh button until the status is extract completed. And in the process monitor page, the run status and distribution status are success and posted respectively. In the process monitor page, click on the details to know the process detail. Now click on view log slash trace. Here we can see DP extract report. Click on the extract report. It contains all the details like request name, server name, extract file and access definition. The process status has no errors and no warnings. Total rows extracted is 372, rows with errors is 0. And under rows detail, we can check the rows extracted from each table. Now, let us view the data selected for extraction in the production through application. Navigate to workforce administration, personal information, modify a person. Let us give the employee ID as KG0002 and search. Here we can see the name of the employee as Devi Hopkins. Click on view name to view full name of the employee. We can see the employee's detail. First name as Devi, last name as Hopkins, display name as Devi Hopkins and formal name as Mr. Devi Hopkins. Now let us navigate to the target PIA to confirm there is no data with the selected employee ID. Navigate to Workforce Administration, Personal Information and Modify a Person. Enter the employee ID as KG0002 and search. We can see that there are no matching values in the target database. Now we will run the insert process. Go to the navigation, Optim PE Data Privacy and select Insert Request. Search for request ID used in the extract process, that is DM1. The Insert Criteria page displays. Under the Insert Options, the radio button without data masking is used to run the insert process. Without masking, that is to execute test data management solution. And the second radio button with data masking is to run insert process with data masking. As we are executing data masking solution for demo, we will choose the second radio button that is with data masking. Now click on run insert request button. The status changes to insert to database tables requested. Click on the process monitor to check the process details. Click on refresh status till the status changes to insert completed in the insert criteria page and success and posted in the process monitor page. Click on the details to know the process detail and click on view log slash trace. Here we can see DP insert report. Click on the DP insert report. It contains all the details like request name, server name, source file, and control file. The process status is no errors and no warnings. The total rows inserted is 369 and the rows with errors is 0. And under rows detail we can check the rows inserted to each table. Now we will navigate to the target PIA to check the inserted data. Navigate to workforce administration, personal information and select modify a person. Employee ID which we verified is KG0002. Click on the search button. Now we can see that the employee ID is present in the target DB. We can also see that the name of the employee is masked here. His name is changed from Devi Hopkins to Adam Ali. Click on view name and check the masked first name, last name, display name and the formal name. Similarly, we can ma mask other sensitive data like nationality, address, date of birth, age, and the credit card number. We have finished the demo for extraction of data masking solution from the PIA. Now we will look at the access definition editor, extract request editor, and the insert request editor on Core Optim. This is the Optim console we will use for Core Optim to perform the extract and the insert process. For the demo's purpose, we've already imported the TDM DMHCM Optim export file. 
Optum export file or the OEF consists access definitions, extract request and the insert request. It also contains the primary key, relationships, column map and the table map. The identifier window which displays the list of identifiers serves as the prefix for object definition. Let us have a look at the access definition window which describes a set of related data to be extracted. It is also used to manage and maintain the list of tables, relationships and to specify the selection criteria to extract. And this is the table stamp. It displays the list of table names in access definition to specify the data to be extracted. To create a table list, we need to specify and add the start table and other tables like transactional tables, context table and the reference table. In the table specification column, the icon indicates the selection criteria or other specifications for the table. As you can see, there is an SQL icon in the selection list. If we click on the SQL icon, it will display the SQL tab where an SQL WHERE clause is specified for the table. We can have any business criteria specified against the table that defines the candidate for data extraction. It allows all types of SQL statements. This is the relationship tab which defines column in the parent table that relate to corresponding columns in the child table. It also defines the traversal path for selecting data from tables reference in an access definition. The start table and any reference table listed on the tables tab are always included in the process. Now let us explore the variable tab. We use the variable tab to assign variables for selection criteria or SQL statements in an access definition. By assigning variables we can provide values for the variables each time the access definition is processed. As an option we can also provide default values for the variables. Now let us have a quick understanding of extract request editor window. The extract request editor window defines the parameters for extracting data from source tables and saving the data to extract file. When we create an extract request, we must specify an extract file name and the access definition option. Now, let us have a quick understanding of the insert request editor window. Insert request places data on an object definition from a source file into a destination database. When we create an insert request, we must specify the source file that contains the data we want to insert, the control file name to record the information about the process, table map and the process options. Now let us have an understanding of the table map editor. Here we need to select the qualifier for the destination database where we have to insert the extracted data. The source tables are mapped with the destination tables and the column map is specified for the tables which need the data to be masked. Masking functions are returned in the column map. The column map status for the tables will be defined for tables which use column map and unused for the tables which do not use the column map. And that brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you.